Hey guys, and welcome to a Roller Coaster Tycoon tutorial. Today we're going to be going over custom music and how to sync it with the coaster and not have to spend a long time doing that. Uh, first thing you're going to do is choose a song. For this, I just chose a... Uh, just like a little knock on a beat. That would be like the best thing to teach how to sync to. Uh, you're going to want to download it and put it into your, you know, music editor of choice, whatever, uh, I'm using Sony Vegas. I would recommend, uh, leaving about five seconds of emptiness beforehand. Uh, you can see like the first sound wave is, you know, I got it set up at five seconds. Uh, this is just so when your coaster leaves the station, you can kind of like time the start of where it sinks, you know? Uh, I mean, you can mess around with this and kind of do whatever you need. Uh, and so you got all this. It's like the whole thing, you know. Uh, you got to render it in a specific way. Uh, it needs to be a WAV, a wave, whatever, dot WAV. Uh, all these settings are important. It needs to be PCM, uh, sample rate 22,050, bit depth of 16, and stereo. And... Uh, you can name it custom, uh, we're going to name it custom two. You can only have two custom songs at the same time, uh, named custom one and custom two dot wav. Uh, so we can just go ahead and render this. Okay. So we have our rendered file. Uh, I'm not sure how important this is, but, uh, try to capitalize the wav extension. Um, now I've never messed up adding a custom song, but I've always uh, capitalized this. I'm not sure if it makes a difference. But uh, what you're going to do after that, find where your game's installed. Uh, mine's in like the GOG. I bought it on GOG.com. Uh, you need to find your installation folder. I don't think it works if you put it in the uh, OpenRCT folder in the documents, but you go to data, put it in, and you load up your game. Okay, so we're in the game now. Uh, now for the coaster, I would recommend using the Steel Twister or the uh, Limb Launch because they have a lot of available pieces. Uh, I think the Steel Twister is probably the best because it has the booster and the chain lift. I don't think the Limb Launch has a booster. I think it only has the station powered. But uh, yeah, the Steel Twister, having the booster, the chain lift, you know, you got like the steep to, you know, flat, huge piece, and you can switch the ride type and get like the, the really small version of this. You get like a huge range of motion. Uh, but what we're gonna do, just for this start here, we're gonna make a station and your first piece. And then you can just make this, uh, kind of a piece out the back as well. Uh, this will come in handy shortly. Uh, you can go into your music, play music, and we set ours to be the custom two. If you named yours custom one, it would be, you know, custom music one, but ours is two. Uh, another thing I'd change, and make sure you got one one train. I mean, you're only going to be watching one train go through the whole thing. Uh, I just, I'd recommend using, you know, like a shorter train so you get uh, more control over the velocity. You're not moving like a bus around, you're moving like a small car instead. Uh, just a little easier to speed it up and slow it down and all that kind of stuff. Okay, now, the first thing you're going to want to do when making the coaster, you're going to want to merge it onto a second track. A second coaster of the same type. Uh, and there's tutorials on merging tracks. Here's like a short tutorial. You see like the ones... In the station are blue. We're gonna place down some red track. Now we open the tile editor in the cheats window in uh, Tile Inspector. Click on the tile where we put the two pieces on. And uh, now what we want to do is make sure this red one, this red piece, is showing as the bottom track on this tile. And we can check that. So we can we selected the bottom one, we raise it, and it's the blue one. So what we gotta do is switch. And now we can see the red track. And uh means when the coaster starts out of the station, 
it'll transfer from its track onto the second track and uh, that'll come in handy for saving a lot of time later on. Now, uh, I guess the first thing you should really do is make sure you've got the coaster leaving the station synced with the song. Uh, we left ourselves five seconds, so uh, we just set this maximum waiting time, five seconds. And we can start the coaster, see if it works. Oh, uh, what you're going to want to also do, you're going to need a uh, show all operating modes. So we can get the powered launch passing station. And you can just set this to like some low number. If you got plans after the station or, you know, whatever, set it to like a few. And we'll make this long so it doesn't crash. Put a little hill at the end. Uh, now we can start the coaster. You'll see five seconds, you know, the song started. You can kind of mess around with that and get different effects, you know. Uh, in the Bohemian Rhapsody, it doesn't play until it leaves the station. Uh, can You know, you can mess around with that. There's a lot of, a lot of options here. Now, uh, the track merging, we're going to kind of get into why we did that. Now, when, when I started making that Bohemian Rhapsody, you know, it's like a six-minute song. My method in the beginning was to open the ride, you know, follow the coaster and watch it go through the whole track, uh, in, you know, regular speed, because when you speed the game up, uh, the music doesn't speed up to the same speed as the coaster. So it'll get off sync if you, you know, speed it up at all. So to save that kind of time, uh, I kind of devise this method. So what you want to do, start the coaster, uh, you know, wait for it to get to the part you want to work on and then you pause and then you save. all right i'm gonna do this like tutorial uh so now you build in pause mode right say you know uh a booster would would accent the beat perfectly right here into like a little loop or something i don't know this probably isn't gonna make it up <laughs> i don't know i don't think it gets too much speed from like a single booster or two uh, so now we're like, okay, now before you unpause, you save, and then you focus on the train, then you can watch it, see if it sinks. All right. And now, you know, if it sinks, you know, cool, I can go on to the next part. If it doesn't, okay, I got to back up a bit, you know, make some new track. And now before you do that, what you do is you pause your game, load, load tutorial. And now you're back at the same part in the track with the same music, you know, in time. Uh, but, you know, you can change You're like, oh, maybe should have been an upward helix or something that uh, goes forever, whatever. Uh, and you can test that, you know, just make sure you save and play it, you know. And make sure you're always paused before you load again as well. Uh, I wouldn't recommend, you know, pausing and unpausing a bunch of times in the same, you know, run. You know, think of this as like a checkpoint. Uh, like, uh, it's here in the track, you know, it can go farther. I wouldn't recommend, you know, if this is your checkpoint, making a checkpoint like 20 seconds later on the same run as this coaster. Because every time you pause, it kind of like freezes the music frame. Uh, it kind of warps it a little. So every time you do a checkpoint, on the same run through the coaster it's going to get like a little more and more warped so i'd recommend every time you make a checkpoint to uh just, you know sit and watch the coaster all the way through again and uh pause it where you need the next checkpoint and uh you'll find this saves so much time uh you know no longer do you have to watch you know two or three five minutes worth of roller coaster to get to where you're working on you just watch a few seconds and that ends up saving you know tens of hours of just of just listening to the song, you know? Uh, all right, so that about kind of sums up the tutorial. Uh, you know, when you get back to the end, just make sure you merge the tracks correctly. Uh, you know, just make sure it's on the... The blue track would be the one, you know, because it's back to the station, make sure that's lowest on the list, which it is, so it's kind of nice. And uh, you'll have your synced coaster. It's as easy as that.
and I can go into like some sinking tips as well as some like general ones. Uh, try not to pick like a really crazy song unless you got that kind of experience. You know, it's uh, roller coasters kind. You know, you don't get that kind of control. Like you can't really get the snappy sinks as well most of the time. Like you, I don't. It's kind of like a balancing act. Uh, what I like to do is um, I call it like Tom and Jerry sinking. You know, when you watch Tom and Jerry, they got like the orchestra going in the background, but like you know, they have like a like an overarching like movement of a character go to like you know maybe like a couple notes of the song. You know, it it it's kind of just down to like really thinking about how you can use a coaster to represent a song rather than like doing it super literally. Although you know that that's like its own style. Uh, there's really like a huge range of what you can do here. Uh, and I can see like a lot of a lot of crazy stuff uh, coming out with this kind of concept. Um, but that about sums up the tutorial. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and learned something along the way. You know, I'm always glad to share information. Uh, I'll be in the comments if anyone's looking for any more help. And, uh, you know, have a nice day, dude.